Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another tag video. I haven't done one in a little while, so I thought I would film another one for you guys. So this one is the Summer 2019 Beauty and Lifestyle Tag. This was created by Beauty by Angela. I'll leave her information down below in the description box. Um, I was tagged by quite a few people. I think I was tagged by Anya Stamper and maybe Kaylee Wesley and a few others. But I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. Um, I had a lot of these tag videos pre-filmed. And as you guys know, um, or many of you guys know, I had some issues with my phone. I dropped my phone. I lost a lot of my data. So a lot of these I am re-filming. And yeah, I, I don't remember everything from um, those tag videos or the details. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first question is, what's your favorite summer drink? My favorite summer drink is water, first and foremost, nice icy cold water. But I do like an unsweetened uh, iced tea, which I think Beauty by Angela said was her favorite drink as well. I don't mind sweetened iced tea, but when it's really hot, I want something low sugar um, that just tastes really refreshing and hydrating. Um, I do like a lemon, sort of a homemade lemonade type of thing as well, or sugar-free soda. Just something that's not going to dehydrate me with sugar in it, basically. Number two, do you wear makeup to the pool, lake, beach? No, I am not about that life. I, if I do go somewhere like that, which I tend to not go unless it's a nice temperature and not too hot, um, last thing I want to be worrying about is how much makeup I've got on and if I'm looking good. I, I don't wear makeup to look good for others. Um, you know, the only time I wear makeup to look good for others is if I'm going for a job interview or something like that. In my everyday work or my life, I, I really don't wear makeup. I usually just play with it on camera with you guys and a little bit off camera. Um, but yeah, unless it's something important, I, I don't wear makeup off camera. So yeah. Number three, flip flops or cute sandals. I much prefer a sandal over a flip flop. Flip flops tend to um, they have that little, you know, hook thing that keeps your toes in. And I always get that sort of rough feeling in between my big toe and the next toe next to it. Does that make sense? Whereas a sandal can sort of enclose you in at the back of the, um, shoe as well, which I like. I, I have a lot of problems with my feet. I wear orthotics, so I definitely need proper shoes and proper support, um, when I do wear a sandal or something like that so yeah and I do have a pair of sandals that I really love they're the Fenty Puma ones they've got a little cute bow on them and they're quite thick the base of them are quite thick and it's a molded base as well so it makes it a lot easier for someone like me who needs a molded base a pre-molded base to walk around in number four lip gloss or lipstick uh lip gloss definitely I for summertime lip gloss, for wintertime lipstick. Yeah, just comfort and yeah, lip gloss is kind of, you know, it's easy to reapply and yeah, I, I just, I like the comfort of it. Lipsticks tend to dry up my lips, so yeah. Number five, hamburgers or hot dogs? I don't really like either. I'm not a big meat eater. If I had to pick, I would pick hot dogs. I don't like hamburgers very much. Um, too greasy just yeah it, it i don't like burnt meat so hot dogs are sort of a more safe option for me um in that way number six foundation or bare skin bare skin in summer i yeah i hate having to deal with sweat in summer and then obviously with makeup on top i'd be padding 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 yeah not about that life <laughs> number seven cute floppy hat or adorable sunglasses sunglasses definitely um I, I don't mind wearing hats um but i really like to protect my eyes and make sure that i'm not um affecting them with uv rays and things like that so sunglasses definitely number eight watermelon or ice cream i don't like watermelon i like cantaloupe or rock melon as it's called in some parts uh so definitely ice cream is my pick yeah Number nine, shorts, capris, or skirts slash sundresses. 
shorts or capris definitely um, I get a lot of chafing if I wear a skirt or a sundress and I'm not about that life I would rather be comfortable than look cute I'm all about comfort I, once again like I don't wear makeup for others I don't dress for others either I dress for myself and for my own comfort so yeah number 10 bikini or one-piece bathing suit uh, I do prefer a one piece purely it's not even to do with my body because I I am overweight definitely um, and my body does look better in a one piece bathing suit but I also like a one piece because you don't have to worry about hitching up your um, bikini bottoms and you don't have to worry about your bikini bottoms stretching too much um, which is a common problem for me because I have a big butt <laughs> And also with the top, like constantly readjusting the top. Once again, I've got big boobs. So um, not having to worry about my bathing costume being flung out to sea is a good thing. So one piece makes sure that everything stays in place and my boobs stay in place and everything. So yeah. Number 11, what's your signature summer fragrance? Ah, uh, yes. Now I love... The Sarah Jessica Parker NYC Pure Crush and it is a coconut scent it's got some white florals in it as well it's fairly and it's inexpensive I got it for $30 Australian for the 100 mil um, yeah it's just a nice light fragrance that I think is perfect for summer I haven't found a fragrance that is as light as it, that but also stays on the skin because a lot of light fragrances and summer fragrances just don't stay on the skin i mean one hour two hours they're gone uh i find i get about four to five hours out of um sarah jessica parker pure crush so yeah that would be my pick number 12 favorite summer lip color uh i like just a a nice sort of corally orange i think that that works really well in the summertime um, I'm not about that, you know, hot pink or red life or beige life in summer. I think just a nice orange color. That's good. Yeah. Number 13, camping or glamping. Well, I freaking hate camping. I hate it with a passion. Um, lots of bad experiences when I was a child. I don't like feeling uncomfortable. I don't like feeling like there's nature that is going to tear down my tent at any moment. I hate that feeling. I hate having to go at, to a communal bathroom to use showers. I think that's ridiculous. Um, I'm not about that life. I mean, if I'm going away for a holiday, I'm going away to relax. I'm not going away to get back to nature. I want to just relax and have a nice hot shower um, and not have to worry about, you know, pervs looking at me. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of bad experiences as a child doing camping. I hated it. Um, so glamping is definitely what I would do. I would have a cabin of some description um, and in the sort of more quiet part of the camp area because I don't like children and I don't like hearing them scream at the top of their lungs. And that's that. Sorry if I piss some people off with that, but that's just me. I'm, you know, I'm... The type of person where I just don't like excessive noise I don't like being uncomfortable I just don't like any of that next one is 14 I look that screams summer to you or oh, all those like sunset eye looks with the reds and the oranges and the yellows I really like that sort of sunset um, glam look or anything sort of coral themes that sort of orangey pinky tone I like that too Number 15, do you like your marshmallows lightly browned to perfection or burnt? Lightly browned, just like my meat. I don't like things that are burnt. I think it tastes stale, it tastes disgusting. I'm not about that life. Number 16, favorite go-to summer hairstyle? Um, just up and out of my face is probably the best thing. I try and do buns a lot in summer. Um, and ponytails, high ponytails, so it's sort of swishing at the back. Yeah. Number 17, one beauty product you can't live without for summer. Uh, well, I am thinking it's going to be this beautiful baby right here, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. 
I think this is definitely going to be my can't live without item in summer. It's gorgeous. It smells delicious. It smells just like my Pure Crush perfume. So I think I'm going to enjoy using that in summer when it does roll around in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. What else? We have number 18. Here we go. So dream summer vacation destination. I think somewhere like Hawaii would be nice or New Zealand or Canada because I like things cold and I don't like things freezing cold, but I like things cold. And New Zealand and Canada have very strong winters that are really cold. Same with New York, where my partner is from. It's quite strong. So I would like to have, you know, a nice experience in the summertime in those areas because I don't think it would be too hot, which would be great for me. Oh, except New York is actually really hot in the summer, so probably not. <laughs> Number 19, favorite childhood summer experience memory. I remember before we had like the droughts in Australia and all the water restrictions, we were able to have sprinklers um, and we were able to turn them on at any time of the day and you could literally run up and down um, like my backyard with a sprinkler on and just run around either naked or just in a bathing suit um, and yeah enjoy the fun of that basically yeah number 20 the last one does your skin tan or burn uh well my skin burns and then it tans um but because i'm very pale it doesn't tan as much as other people so it, it, it's a give and take. I, I try not to go out in the sun very much anyway because I like being pale. I don't like um, being burnt to a crisp. So yeah, that's that. So there we go. There is my summer 2019 beauty and lifestyle tag. As always, I tag everyone watching this video. If you are a content creator and you would like to do this tag, please do. Um, obviously give credit to Beauty by Angela um, and yeah, I've got all the comment, um, all the comments, all the questions down below in the description box, as well as Beauty by Angela's channel. So you can definitely check that out and yeah, and have her, have a look at hers and see how she did hers. And yeah, that, that's about it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please press that subscribe button. I post every day at the moment. I'm going a bit crazy with my uploads. Uh, press the thumbs up button if you enjoyed and leave a nice comment as I reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.